In this module, we work on some exciting new ideas related to transformation. Remember, we are focused on transforming individuals and transforming lives or teams. What do we do that transforms the outcome for individuals? We are focused on important discovery in this century in the area of neuroscience. That's called memory reconsolidation. To understand memory reconsolidation, we go back to what we learned in the first module, the conscious mind and the unconscious mind. Both are related to memory formation. The memory can be of two types, implicit and explicit memory. And now we, just to recap, we know that implicit memory is stored in the body in the form of emotions, often unconscious. Uh, before we continue this further, let me recap some recently known discoveries in the area of how memory is formed. Often when we have an event, that memory is, is weak or is malleable, modifiable. It, the word that is used in scientific terms is labile. So when an experience happens for a certain duration, that memory is labile. And over next two, three days, when we sleep through such, uh, when we sleep over the experiences, that memory is consolidated, which in other words, becomes permanent. So from a labile state, the short term memory is con converted into long term memory, which is consolidated. For a long time, the work in psychology focused on extinction. However, this creates incremental change and what we need for transformation is a breakthrough change. This is where the recent discovery by Karim Nathar and a lot of other scientists who have done follow through work comes into picture. This is called memory reconsolidation. For a long time, it was thought that memory which is implicit is stored in the body and it needs to be retrieved from the body, which is true. However, the recent discoveries have indicated that memory can be reconsolidated. In other words, that emotional experience can be transformed, changed, eliminated. How does it work? The process is relatively simple. First, the memory is retrieved. Now, when the memory is retrieved, as I talked earlier, it is labile, it is modifiable. The research shows, neuroscience, not psychology. Neuroscience, measurable research says that the labile state is available for about five to six hours. So when the memory is retrieved and it is in the labile state, this is where it is possible to change it. And assuming we have methods which are demonstrated through science, can change this labile memory, it is again available for consolidation. But this is a reconsolidation of the old experience. This is different from memory consolidation. So a consolidated memory is retrieved, maintained in the labile state and transformed and finally reconsolidated. This is what creates breakthrough transformation, especially powerful in the context of traumatic memories. We leverage this unique recent discovery in the area of neuroscience and memory reconsolidation for creating breakthrough transformations. I'm sure you're asking why and how. Let me explain. There are three steps involved. First, retrieval of the memory. So an incident is recalled. There are techniques to do that. First, understand the steps. So retrieval of the memory. Then second, identification of mismatch. And this creates unlocked potential. In other words, how I responded then and how would I look at it today and this creates an error, margin of error or mismatch. And finally, the new learning is developed. When these three steps are consistently followed, it is possible to change and finally reconsolidate the memory. This is what we use in coaching framework. And recall, we integrate both implicit and explicit memory. However, for memory reconsolidation, the focus is on implicit memory and the three steps that I have mentioned. Moving forward, for therapeutic interventions, uh, we work on the idea of reconsolidation and these three steps. Now, several methods available as part of our release reframe toolkit that we have developed at Wellness Space based on published scientific evidence. In this module, we look at reconsolidation of traumatic memory a very well documented published data on this technique. It is part of our release reframe toolkit. By learning this method right now for specific 
one of events you are creating your own understanding on how to use this in future for complex post traumatic stress disorder or even post traumatic stress disorder situations to summarize we use memory reconsolidation based on neuroscience evidence and create real transformations